Thank you, Morton. Uh, well said. Uh, in this very building, some years ago, uh, there, uh, Dr. Lee Edwards uh, had uh, a, a panel discussion on one of his 20 plus books that he's written. And uh, I remember Frank Shakespeare, the great conservative ambassador of Frank Shakespeare, was in the audience. And uh, Frank asked a version of that question, Morton. He said, in all the years we've uh, had the conservative movement since the early 50s through now, we've only thrown up from uh, the grassroots one principled conservative, Ronald Reagan. And why haven't the conservatives done a uh, more successful, better job? Uh, and no one had the answer, and, and I certainly didn't uh, at that time. Uh, I am very, very encouraged, though, Morton, uh, going forward. Uh, since 1984, we have seldom had a major top tier conservative running for uh, the Republican nomination. We've had some good conservatives, but quite frankly, many of them, if not most of them, weren't top tier. In 2016, I think we're going to have a traffic jam of limited government constitutional conservatives running for, uh, for president. Now, uh, without uh, giving away uh, who my <laughs> favorite candidate is, and I could be happy with any number of them right now. What I do is marketing, and that's what I've done for 50 years is market. So when you've got a, a product, a cause, uh, you have to position, if you want to be successful, your product opposite the competition. If we assume that our competitor in 2016 is going to be a Washington insider, i.e. Hillary Clinton, I don't think you want another Washington person to run against him. I think the strongest candidate would be somebody in the states. So we have many, many good uh, governors, uh, Mike Pence, Scott Walker, Bobby Jindal, uh, the, uh, Rick Perry, uh, Rick Scott uh, in Florida. Uh, we have many, many to choose from. And I think that would make the, uh, the strongest ticket in uh, 2016. Now, uh, probably shouldn't say this, but I, uh, I, I think it's important for us to, to, as conservatives, to, and we chart the future to understand this. Back in the 60s, uh, there was an element uh, in public policies, politics, that was trying to take over the uh, conservative movement, the Republican Party, and under the leadership of Bill Buckley, we successfully fended off these uh, people, and they're identified to known today as, as libertarians. We had a big battle with them, and Republicans, conservatives prevailed, okay? The libertarians are back stronger than ever, and in, in many ways, that's a good thing. We don't agree on all the issues, but there are many things that we do agree on, and I think that that is important for conservatives to uh, uh, find common ground with uh, the libertarians. And I think that uh, uh, if we don't do that, it's going to be uh, difficult for us to win uh, presidential elections as well as many governors and uh, uh, Senate elections. Uh, I, in my lifetime, have not seen a finer principled uh, conservative run for a major office than Ken Cuccinelli running for governor uh, in Virginia this past November. And a libertarian candidate ran against him, got 7 percent of the vote. Uh, I said, outrage, in, in my opinion. Uh, so in order to, uh, to have as, as strong a united voting base as we can, I think conservatives would be well advised to look to uh, maybe come back to Washington for a vice presidential nomination and take a good look at, uh, at Rand Paul. Rand Paul has a large following, not only libertarians, young people out there, and you bring a ticket together like that, I think it can be uh, just unbeatable.